Hey everybody, so it is actually the day after Christmas. I hope everyone had a really wonderful Christmas. Um, our holiday was really low key. Um, we like to keep everything pretty low key, so it was really nice though. Uh, I figured I would maybe pick up the camera and do a little bit of vlogging today because we are gonna be out and about and doing some things, so I figured this would be a fun day to vlog so it is currently just a little past 7 30 and i'm talking kind of quietly because sean's still sleeping um but we are going to take our girl on a walk because we are no days off right no days off <laughs> um yesterday we had a really good really long walk which was which was really good um she i think she is dropping some pounds um i know a few of you have commented and said She's looking thinner and um, I'm thinking she is still dropping the weight. We are planning on going to the dermatologist that was helping our boy Deuce um, probably tomorrow, if not even today. We're gonna bring Zoe with us. <clears throat> We're gonna put her on the scale <laughs> so that way I can kind of see um, where she's at. So. I'm just gonna kind of wait until Sean gets up and then we're gonna take our walk and then we're gonna go probably run out to the mall and do some things and grab some lunch. But in the meantime, um, I have decided to expand my Scentsy business a little bit into other regions, which is totally out of my comfort zone because it's completely different catalogs and everything. So I'm kind of educating myself on the other catalogs this morning. So in our consultant workstation, we are able to go in and see our digital versions of our catalogs. So I'm currently educating myself on Australia and New Zealand. So it's a completely different catalog. So I figured um, I wanted to kind of familiarize myself with it as well as the pricing and everything. So and they have completely different uh, scents and warmers and everything. So. I'm getting a little bit jelly on some of these things that I don't have access to, <laughs> but it's definitely fun to kind of view other catalogs. Okay, so it is time for our family walk and we actually have some beautiful sunshine. It's a little bit crisp this morning, but it's all good. So we're going to take you along on our walk this morning. So we are coming up on the one mile mark and I got in trouble. <laughs> so normally Sean and I will start our like tracking apps. So he's got an app on his phone that he starts and then I've got an app on my Apple watch. So that way I'm getting credit for my steps and like a workout, but he's blaming the paparazzi. <laughs> It just threw off our routine. So now um, we're not getting credit for all of our steps, but it's okay. Cause I started my app little bit late but better late than never right so we've got my watch going but obviously we've been going for a little bit longer than this <laughs> So along our route is uh, some new builds in our neighborhood and these are so cute how cute are these houses I love them and a tired dog is a very very good dog <laughs> so that was a good walk wish we would have started our little trackers a little bit early but that's okay we got her drained we got our steps in it's just about nine o'clock so we are going to get ready to head out to the mall and get some things done and then head back to chill for the rest of the all right you guys so we are pulling up to the mall here and this is kind of a big deal for us because we are not mall goers <laughs> and this is the second mall trip in a week in a week so this is kind of a big deal um so it's looking like it's not too crazy packed so that's good um i had actually asked a question on my personal facebook page about what your favorite women's jeans are because I'm in the market for some new good jeans. So in the comments, let me know what your favorite 
women's jeans are. Um, I will let you know what we wind up with, but we're gonna go do some shopping and then we're gonna hop across the street and grab some lunch. So we will share how fruitful we were with the shopping trip. All right, babe? Say hi, babe. Hello, babe. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll check back. just made it back home and we made out pretty good. We didn't get as much as what we were hoping for for Sean, but I definitely made out pretty good. So um, I wound up going with a, a few pair of American Eagle jeans and I'm pretty excited. This is These will be my first American Eagle uh, brand jeans. So I got four different styles, so I'm excited about that. So, and then Sean actually found these super cute little booties and so we picked those up because they were on sale too so after that we went over and had some lunch and then as you guys saw we got the truck washed and now we're back home so we are gonna hang out with our girl i am actually planning on potentially doing my bring back my bar for sniffs video um i also we made one last stop on the way home for a little comparison video that will be coming up in the future so i may try to crank out a couple more videos while i've got some daylight so um yeah I'll check back with you guys. All right, you guys, one more kind of random question Zoe and I are wondering. When you guys start taking down your Christmas trees? Growing up, we always took them down around January 2nd. My mom's birthday is January 2nd, and here's a fun fact for you. Sean's mom's birthday is January 1st. How cool is that? So we always kind of took down our Christmas tree around the 2nd. Um, we, I think my warmers I'll probably keep out through January, maybe into February, because there's none that are like, super Christmas specific, but more like winter, wintry as you guys saw. So I'll probably keep those out, but as far as the Christmas tree, I'm thinking I might take it down maybe next week or so, but I'm curious to know when you guys start taking down your Christmas decor. Zoe is really excited about her new bandana and wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> How cute is this? And of course it has to be the red and black buffalo plaid because that's just how we roll. But yeah, I ordered that on Etsy. Etsy, Etsy, Etsy. So I will link that um, Etsy vendor down below so that you guys can maybe buy one for your pup. She loves it. She's super excited. We also have another one coming in purple. So that's going to be fun. She's really excited about that. Okay, so I just finished my what I was warming video, which makes me happy because that means I can empty these guys. By the way, if you have your empty clamshells, these empty clamshells from Scentsy, you can absolutely recycle these. So what I do is whenever I'm done recording my what I was warming uh, video, just kind of going through my basket of empties, I always recycle those. Also, if you are into maybe painting and things, um, my mom is, is big into painting, so she will actually use these to like separate her paints and that way they don't dry out or anything because they've got like a little lid. So there's a little tip for you. If you have any clamshells that are empty, if you are looking for something to do with them, <laughs> you could put paint in there. I've seen people actually put like quarters and stuff in here or you can always recycle them. So now I'm gonna work on getting that video uploaded to YouTube because that takes a hot minute. Good morning from the Rowberries. Say hi to our friends, babe. Hello. It is Friday now and you know what that means. It's dog park day. So we are gonna take you along with us to the dog park per usual. Missy over here is really trying our patience for sure this morning. She does this thing where she just whines and whines and whines because she's so excited. But luckily, she's not doing it anymore. So maybe we just need to vlog the whole time. Yep. She, uh, <laughs> she sounds like a hyena. She sounds like a hyena. Just whining, whining. In fact, one of the times we were at the dog park, Sean had made a joke to somebody else that she got a squeaker stuck in her throat. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. So join us at the dog park, friends. One thing that we are starting to do, our boy loved to uh, chew on tennis balls. And Zoe doesn't really 
play with them that much at the house. Not at all, because she's got other toys that pique her interest a little bit better. But we still have like half a case of these. So what we are doing, so we... <laughs> Now do you guys see what I, what we're talking about? Um, what we're doing is we're actually bringing these. To She's on the camera. Stop. <laughs> we're bringing these to the dog park so that um, hopefully maybe she'll want to fetch them. If not her, then definitely some other dogs will get a chance to play with them. Oh my gosh, Zoe, you're killing me. Yet another really successful trip to the dog park. She's doing so much better. Like she's spending a lot more time like playing with other dogs. She's still excited and whining. <laughs> um, the tennis balls were a definite hit, right? Yeah. Like we will definitely be continuing to bring them. Oh, yeah. uh, we would have stayed a little bit longer, but there was a little bit of testosterone going on. That is the one thing that has been nice with her is that she's not like, she's not dominant in any kind of way and she's she doesn't care who the pack leader is because she's got her people, you know? So it's so funny because, um, you know, our boy Deuce, he, he was kind of that way and he, he wouldn't like attack other dogs mm -hmm. in any kind of way, but he just, he just wanted to be left alone. So when, when dogs would come up and like sniff him, he's like, yeah, no, thank you. But so it's just so nice. Like with her, she, where are you sis? So <laughs> with her, She's just like, as long as I have my people, I don't care. I don't care who's here or what you have to say. So it, it was a really, really good trip. Now we're gonna go over to Sparkles and we're also gonna go to a butcher and pick up some delicious meats. Yes. yes. And look at the convenience of this. We have our favorite shop, Sparkles, right next to the butcher shop. Yes, please. Okay, so this visit was fruitful. We didn't get any food from sparkles this time but we did get our girl a little a little treat for later. <laughs> for later so we are going to give that to her later and then sean headed into the meat shop and grabbed some delicious meats what do we have here sir elk loin chop we have elk loin chop that we are going to enjoy in the sous vide elk tenderloin we have elk tenderloin also sous vide i'm sure are we gonna sous vide all this stuff yeah i'm sure i'm sure what else do we have? Venison leg roast. Ooh, venison leg roast. Delicious. Duck breast. Duck breast. I've never had duck. I'm really excited to give this a try. For those of you who have, who have had duck, do you love it? Do you love it? I want to know your thoughts. Mm. <gasps> ah, yes. And elk pepper sticks. I am such a sucker for meat sticks, beef sticks, beef jerky. Give me all the meats. It's delicious. That's it. That's it. Now we are gonna go over to Chipotle and get, and get lunch. This meat is frozen, so we can't eat it right now. So we're gonna go over to Chipotle and get ourselves some Mexican food because that's delicious. I don't know if it's Mexican food. It's delicious. All right, you guys, so we are home and Zoe is tired. We have full bellies from our delicious lunch and we are gonna get ready to watch the USC game for the, is it Holiday Bowl? Yes. 
the holiday bowl. Uh, I've got my USC gear on. I am ready to represent and watch them win. So fight on. We will uh, see you guys a little bit later. Bye guys.